Hey, good morning guys, Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency update. Hope all is well. Just wanted to start this video off with a brief announcement that I'm pretty excited for. So we know Coinbase valued at roughly $8 billion, 35 million users worldwide, one of the biggest cryptocurrency wallets without a doubt. They should be going public in the near future. They have officially partnered with Unstoppable Domains. Again, that link is in the top of this video description. If you have not created an account yet, I definitely recommend doing so. It's all about making it simpler, one step towards the Internet of Value. So with Ripple's Open Payments Coalition with well over 100 million members, we have Unstoppable Domains is one of the founding members with PayID. All right, we'll kind of go through this, breeze through it, and I want to show you a quick video clip that the folks over at Unstoppable Domains made me. Again, because my domain, for example, is kevincage.crypto, and I can send any cryptocurrency that I have synced up with that wallet instead of inputting long, you know, addresses for cryptocurrency or a destination tag with XRP. That can get messy. It can be really tedious and annoying. And I personally would like to send value as easy as it is to send an email. And that's where I think this is all going. So I'm going to play this video and check this out. <clears throat> so again guys users can pay one another by just typing in a simple domain all dot crypto domain specifically instead of using those long addresses anything supported by the wallet now also these domains can be stored in the coinbase wallet and are also visible in the collectibles section the number one cryptocurrency wallet today very exciting i definitely can see future exchanges hopping on board it's simply a matter of time and again, guys, you can find this link in the top of every single video description that I do. Again, right under my name, you can see show more, click show more. And as you see, reserve and create your own crypto domain while it's available. So you can do your name, a hyphen, end it with .crypto, and there's going to be many more opportunities in the future. And this is just an example. So KevinCage.crypto, I have this synced with cold wallets. You can sync it with Coinbase. And then anytime anyone sends you a cryptocurrency, it can go directly there. All right. So if you send XRP to this, it will go directly to my XRP address. If you send Ethereum, it will go to Ethereum. All right. Let's keep going here. So again, this is the link on Stoppable Domains. You can find you type in your name, create your own, see what's available and go on from there. So again, pay ID with the initiative, the universal payments identifier. Think of it as just an email for value or a phone number for communication, things of that nature. So we have Alice and instead of an at sign, we have the dollar sign example.com. So with the single pay ID payments identifier, you could potentially sync your debit cards, your cryptocurrency addresses, various networks, even if you had in the future internet of value an investment portfolio of maybe tokenized gold or real estate properties or various equities. Imagine just doing atomic swaps and you know using this payments identifier to communicate in the interledger protocol bridging all of this and with the best asset to do the job with the fastest payment route. Remember batch payments just like IP packets can move. Think of that with value. Again, we are, I am just beyond excited. I think that we are really at the verge of something huge, and we're not going to know how big this really is until it's all over, and we're going to look back and go, wow. Just like 20 years ago with the internet, I don't think people saw you know us coming this far, but perhaps you did. All right, so we'll keep going. Again, payid.org, you can see Unstoppable Domains. Again, the website, one of the founding members with Ripple, many other groups, again, Signum. Remember, they can custody XRP. We have Uphold with Interledger Protocol Integration and also XRP. We have the Sum app, which we've discussed. PolySign is everybody whispers for fun. Global ID with Greg Kidd, Flash FX, Forte again for game developers. Mercury FX was one of the first X Rapid or XRP users in live payment flows. Talked about Dharma. Everyone called us idiots because it was speculation and they had nothing to do with Ripple or partnerships. False. We read all the documents. We saw the partnerships. We understood they had vested interests in this ecosystem. And what do you know? We are right once again. And that is exactly how this is going to continue to play out. All right. Bitcoin markets, again, they've, uh, I believe the CEO has said, said many positive things about XRP. Bitrue, again, a very XRP centric exchange. Links are in the video description as well. Coil.com, if you want to read blogs and web monetization, we're seeing growth in this entire ecosystem. We are so early. Highly recommend looking in these groups. Again, Brave Browser is what I'm using. Some, I like it because I earn, you know, basic attention token, but some people actually prefer um, Opera as well. So I definitely have to check that out. You could talk about BRD Wallet with Adam Trademan. Uh, flutter wave with africa the unbanked populations m pesa um you know ripple direct integrations Dwala. it's just never ending guys i could go on and on and on all right so again you guys can just look at these groups do your own research decide for yourselves don't just listen to me and as we can see some other extensions for pay id i don't need to go on and on about this i think you guys understand the magnitude of what we are talking about pay id is just one 
single layer of this entire ecosystem of you know the network drivers in this space you can talk about codius you can talk about ilp you can talk about other initiatives for an open landscape where you know that is completely value agnostic network network agnostic and allows the best to win it's going to come down to cold hard math tribalism is not going to win this race it's about technology it's about financial inclusion operational efficiency so i am on the side of utility i'm a utility maximalist if bitcoin somehow became the most useful the most scalable the most um, cheapest and most secure i would without a doubt be happy to obviously go into that you know investment or diversify a bit more into it but i'm seeing a variety of altcoins that you know seem to have a tremendous amount of upside and just understand that speculation will always play a role in this market speculation is healthy but we're going to see that utility ground floor slowly or quickly rise in tandem with the speculative ground floor so bottom line is prices you know are going to go up i don't know a single person who's ever bought the bottom perfectly and sold at the top that is a fool's errand the best thing that you can do is study the fundamentals and make informed calculative decisions and if you guys can name any competitors to what pay id this entire open payments coalition is doing please let me know i just don't see any other groups that are doing this they're not just pushing the use case of xrp this is way bigger than just a single asset this is about the asset classes that are going to swallow all other asset classes interoperability is the name of the game they have vested interests in a variety of asset classes the better that a group of assets does the better that every other asset will do all right i think people are finally starting to come around and realize to win this we actually need to work together that term with cooperation and competition coopetition is very very true and it's not just true in the cryptocurrency space i think this is so much bigger than you know all of us even comprehend right i'm trying to keep up with news on a daily basis and I, I can't even handle it at some points. I'm so excited and we're just going to have to gather the information that we can when we can and speculate, you know, appropriately. All right. So I want to cover one last thread before calling it a day and be sure to tune into the next video. I also will be tweeting out some additional articles that Unstoppable Domains is releasing regarding additional news, perhaps even instructions, you know, future announcements, etc. So keep an eye on that. And in my next video, I do want to cover a certain project that is that utilizes proof of stake and is in an algorithmic stablecoin. Excuse me. And that is one of my favorite stablecoins. And so I just kind of want to talk about them. Obviously, they are also partnered with the RippleNet or they're a RippleNet partner. To no surprise, have been acquired by Visa. We've mentioned them in the past. And I just kind of want to point in that specific direction and see where we can see you know other utility take place in the future because we're already seeing some significant adoption and they're kind of keeping their heads down very little news and that is why i'm paying closer attention so i am legion <clears throat> Ripple's roadmap, the top tier banks are not going to give up power and control. We know that the tier one banks get additional fees. It is finally time to simply level the playing field. And as we can see, big fish eat small fish, talking about Ripple, the IPO. We know their top owners are kind of the owners of the world, like BlackRock, Fidelity, again, with their digital asset group coming out. BlackRock, one of the biggest custodians in the world. We know former um, Ripple employee Robbie Michnik left to be, again, blockchain lead for BlackRock. Talk about Vanguard. And these three in particular, I mean, essentially are owners of too many groups to name. They have their hand in every single cookie jar, um, essentially every cookie as well. So we can talk about becoming a bank. This screenshot I've read many times before on um, I Am Legion's Coil blog, uh, coil.com, and becoming a SWIFT member. Very interesting. Talking about all of this in the process back in the 90s as well. As you can see, top 10 owners of Visa Inc. We know that they've acquired a RippleNet partner, Earthport as well, and in no surprise, a Vanguard Group, BlackRock, and Fidelity. We'll keep going here. So right here on Swift.com, it starts with the central banks. We can see back in 89, 296 million messages. Again, Swift just handles the messaging. Their legacy infrastructure with their correspondent banking network is highly inefficient. When you follow the documents and you don't listen to tribalism with any other asset and simply just use logic you realize with you know cgi helping swift from the get-go right from their inception cgi started their intelligent gateway with ripple um it to me it's just kind of all been planned by design is everyone is distracted looking at you know bitcoin or any other asset class they're missing what is right in front of their eyes from the get-go right we understand stable coins are not going to solve the main problem at hand and that is why an actual highly liquid bridge asset is the name of the game highly scalable, most cost efficient, 
period, all right? And it's, again, proof of consensus. This is not proof of, you know, work. It is not a simple just mere blockchain where it takes tons of, you know, electricity and consumption power. This goes hand in hand with the narrative of the World Economic Forum. It is all right in front of you. So I believe this is a uh, cigar of Ripple talking about this is sorry if the screen's rotating. It's from another YouTube video talking about how Ripple specifically works with 40 to 50 central banks. And again, typically the top of those groups, some of them are also liquid corridors that need direct partnership with fintechs to again, take away the power from the tier one banks. They're being forced to finally lose control. It is simply a matter of time. The question is, are they you know going to go quietly where this is going to be pretty crazy? Because guess what? 2020 has already been pretty wild. I'm not going to rule anything out so listen up to this uh, clip real quick didn't mean to click out of it right here actually employed by ripple because uh, so we actually work very closely with about 40 50 central banks across the globe including bank of thailand actually employed by ripple because uh, so we actually work very closely with about 40 50 central banks across the globe all right let's keep going here again another gif i believe this was created by johnny lawrence hopefully um again crazy design skills love it just demonstrating xrp as that bridge asset that medium of exchange to transfer value between different forms of fiat specifically even future digital versions as well and any type of asset that you can imagine tokenizing we are early days exciting years ahead all right so right here how else do we explain the company ripple is kept how do we explain these bold statements i know you've probably seen these on i am legion's coil blog you feel free to pause the screen if you guys want to read this again 150,000 consultants means we are well positioned to support ripple in their journey of global dominance we've had many bold statements again this is from ntt data remember the everest document as well so here they're claiming to be the fifth largest it service group as well um, they might be the sixth now definitely in the top 10 regardless right here on ripple insights we understand ceo and executive chairman yoshitaka Gatao highly highly in you know influential gentleman out of japan go visit crypto eddie's channel to get anything regarding japan i think they're obviously going to be one of the biggest catalysts for the cryptocurrency space i really wish that the u.s was you know as quick to adopting this type of technology but hopefully it all works out just as it should so again not only does it have a clear use case xrp is faster cheaper and more scalable than any other digital asset you don't want an asset that is not scalable cannot do a high you know throughput in transactions per second if network congestion is already an issue in 2020 how on earth do you guys really expect wide-scale global adoption that whole idea of bitcoin becoming a global currency to me is a complete joke store of value possible but so can any other asset so i'm just saying if you know you're not designed to scale for the entire population well over 7 billion people and then guess what guys let's be logical and think of the internet of things and think of the average number of devices that each person has on the planet and then incorporate that as well i i just don't think people are thinking you're getting you know you're kind of wearing those goggles and you're missing the whole point we're looking for assets that are going to provide this service and be scalable enough in technology as a whole all right i mean we're in a world where quantum computing is becoming a thing quantum resistance even with you know hedera and hashgraph exciting 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 and it's typically not bitcoin i don't think it's going to be the one that sticks around long term and hopefully it doesn't hurt your feelings but that's just my opinion i could be 100 percent wrong and that is fine i'm invested and diversified in a variety of assets but i do believe that crypto assets are going to play an instrumental role in the future so provided i'm you know diversifying i think i should be good to go if you guys studied the dot-com bubble i said this probably a month or two ago i was watching all kinds of documentaries and then i saw tony xrp sharing this as well in the dot-com bubble guys there were hedge funds that literally blanketed millions of dollars across a variety of companies that had dot-com in their name and they knew that some of these companies were bs they had no foundation or no business plan or you know any plan or understanding of economics but they get guess what they understood that if even one of these companies survived that profit from their initial investment would cover their losses tenfold period and i know that sounds unreal but that's how big the hype was during these types of bubbles you can call them bubbles but again look where the internet is today some pop and some bubbles just keep growing right here ripple insights talking about it and they they remove some of this from their website and this is not fake i remember I was able to go on the website and find all of this um, maybe this one's still available but saying xrp the world's reserve digital currency now this does not mean i mean it could but i'm just not going to speculate that far some people mean it's going to be you know in the sdr the special drawing rights of the imf the international monetary fund 
that is not necessarily what it means all right this in my opinion this could mean there could be a variety of digital currencies that are reserve currencies just like the us dollar is kind of that reserve currency typically it's denominated it is the foundation of swapping today it's the same concept there's going to be many many use cases if xrp survived and actually proved a true use case because we're already doing you know a billion to five billion dollars plus per year in payment flows if it survived and only tackled maybe low value corridors for the illiquid corridors like the philippine peso the mexican peso etc do you guys understand that is a massive success that could be considered a reserve currency so just keep that in mind stay grounded do i have high expectations for xrp 1000 percent all right, and I'm calling it a day with this video, sick of hearing my own voice. Remember to check the top of this video description for unstoppable domains if you have not created a .crypto domain, which is now integrated with the Coinbase wallet. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you in the next video.